Welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III motivates us and encourages us to simply just pray for the glory of God. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in over 25 foreign countries. He is the president of Gospel Light Society and Torch Ministries International. Now here's your host, Daniel White III. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to another prayer motivator devotional broadcast. This is broadcast number four zero seven. As always, it is absolutely wonderful to be with you today to encourage you to pray. Today I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled Pray On by my daughter, Daniela White. Pray on, pray on, dear Christian. Let not the devil hinder thee. Look up to Christ and trust him for great the spiritual battle will be. Pray on, pray on, dear Christian. Believe God's promises are true. Hold up his blood-stained banner. Do all he has equipped you to do. Pray on, pray on, dear Christian. Though you're often unflinchingly tried, if you have a persevering faith, nothing you ask will be denied. Pray on, pray on, dear Christian, for with hope and grace you cannot fail. Ask what you want in Jesus' name, God's promise to answer will prevail. Ladies and gentlemen, our prayer motivator verse from the Word of God today is Matthew fourteen twenty three, which reads, And when he, Jesus, had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Allow me to share with you some important insights regarding this verse from Matthew Henry. That he was long alone, there he was when the evening was come, and for aught that appears. There he was till towards morning, the fourth watch of the night. The night came on, and it was a stormy, and tempestuous night. Yet he continued instant in prayer. It is good, at least sometimes, upon special occasions, and when we find our hearts enlarged, to continue long in secret prayer and to take full scope in pouring out our hearts before the Lord. We must not restrain prayer. We will discuss this uh, passage further in the next broadcast uh, by the grace of God if he tarries his coming and we live. Ladies and gentlemen, my personal encouragement to you today is this. Here are three more benefits that I have personally received from prayer to God and that I know you can receive as well. Number one, prayer to God will give you peace and joy even though you don't deserve it. Number two, prayer to God can supply your needs. And number three, prayer to God can lift burdens, worries, fears, and cares. Uh, our prayer motivator quote today is from E.M. Bounds. He said, every preacher who does not make prayer a mighty factor in his own life and ministry is weak as a factor in God's work and is powerless to project God's cause in this world. Our prayer motivator devotional today is part 10 of our series titled 
Miracles Today continued from Dr. John R. Rice. In Numbers chapter 5, verses 12 through 31, which we're not going to read uh, that today, we have a remarkable teaching that God's uh, miracle uh, working presence was with Israel all the time to bring sin to judgment miraculously, to whisper to a husband if the wife was impure, and when she drank the bitter water, than if she were guilty of adultery. This water that causeth the curse shall go into thy bowels, to make thy belly to swell, and thy th thigh to rot. And if she was not guilty, there would be no evil effect. Surely that means that the living, miracle-working God was present continually to bring sin to judgment, and that this miracle would take place at the hand of whatsoever husband and wife and priest were called upon to make the test. Down through the years, it is impossible to rule out miracles in the Christian religion where there is any manifestation of God, there is a miracle. Now, friend, it is time for us to pray for the miracles that we need today. Holy Father, God, we pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for allowing us to be alive today and for all of the many and manifold blessings that you have bestowed upon us, and we thank you, Lord, for all of the benefits that you have bestowed upon us. We individually, Lord, confess our sins, our faults, and our failures unto you. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive us of all of our sins. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would crucify our flesh and the old man within us, and fill us afresh and anew with the fullness and the power uh, Lord, in the unction of your Holy Spirit, we do pray that you'd rebuke and bind the devil and his demons and his host, Lord, from your people today, and place upon us the whole arm of God, surround us with your protection, and uh, a band of your holy angels. Lord, today we pray for every pastor, every evangelist, every missionary around the world who stands for you and who loves you, strengthen them in the inner man. Fill them with your Holy Spirit and use them mightily. Heal and bless their marriages. And we pray for the healing of every marriage, every Christian marriage, particularly in the world today, every Christian family. Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for over three million people to come to know you as Savior. We pray for the revival of your church. We pray, Lord, for the healing of this nation. And Lord, we pray also that you would save and lead and guide and direct and give leadership ability and wisdom to the president and to all governmental officials who run this country, as well as all other countries around the world. Now, Lord, we pray for three people who have sent in prayer requests uh, to our ministry here at Gospel Light Society. We pray for Rhonda in New Orleans, Louisiana. It healed her neighbor, Paul, who was diagnosed with prostate cancer and given eight months to live. We pray, Lord, for Barbara. Bless her family and help her children to be born again and be saved from the wrath to come. Give her financial increase. We pray for Helena in Liberia. Reveal the gift that you have given her to her. Holy Father God, we pray for the following people who have trusted you into their hearts, uh, trusted you as their Savior. Just help us to be the disciples that we need to be. Fill all of us with your Holy Spirit. And uh, Lord, we pray specific, specifically for Luis in Peru, uh, Hype Goth in um, uh, Hype Goth and Haney as well. Uh, Lord, we uh, pray for the following people who have uh, been saved for a while, who have now rededicated their lives to you. We rejoice with them 
in this decision and we pray that they will keep their commitments to you and be strengthened in the faith. We pray specifically for Melissa in USA. Uh, we pray specifically for Melissa. Uh, we pray for Nalia in West Yorkshire, UK. And we pray for Tiffany in Garland, Texas. Uh, we pray that you would strengthen them in the faith, help them all to find good Bible-believing churches. We commit these souls into your hands in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ and for his sake. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please allow me to show you how you can know him today. All you have to do is trust uh, today that Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And you will be saved. Saved from what? Saved from hell. And yes, it is as simple as that. And like millions of others, you can come to know the risen Lord Jesus Christ for yourself. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible states in the book of Romans 10, 9 and 13, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, please pray with me the following simple prayer and mean it from your heart, believing in your heart that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried, and rose again. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you have just believed in your heart, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you, was buried, and rose again. And you meant this prayer from your heart. Congratulations on doing the most important thing in life, and that is trusting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Welcome to the family of God. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Until next time, my beloved, remember, pray, think, do. God bless you.